Seven years they fought for justice. Now it's time for answers. The parents of Rachel Corrie, who was crushed to death by a bulldozer in 2003, will finally hear from the Israeli soldier driving the vehicle. The family filed a private lawsuit against the State of Israel five years ago for their daughter's unlawful killing, but it took until March of this year to get a trial. 23-year-old Rachel Corrie was an American student activist. She was killed whilst trying to prevent Israeli bulldozers tearing down Palestinian homes in southern Gaza. The court is expected to hear how the bulldozer knocked Rachel Corey down, crushing her with its blade before backing up and running over her again. She was wearing a fluorescent jacket and standing alongside other demonstrators during the peaceful protest in March 2003. An Israeli military probe after the incident concluded the soldiers operating the bulldozer couldn't see Rachel and the case was swiftly closed. But with the support of the U.S. State Department and under the glare of the world media, the Corries filed a private lawsuit. The last few months of the trial has revealed huge flaws in the military's investigation of Rachel Corrie's killing, including the fact that none of the investigators visited the site of the incident or even interviewed Palestinian witnesses or medics who were at the scene. Rachel Corrie's parents, a retired insurance executive and a former music teacher, are not looking for financial compensation. They're suing the Israeli government for a symbolic one dollar. What they want is to hold those who killed their daughter to account in the hope, they say, that other parents with sons and daughters who decide to stand up to Israel's occupation are not treated with the same impunity. Shireen Tadros, Al Jazeera, Haifa, Northern Israel.